Hi Roll folks, in this tutorial we'll be teaching you how to separate each character from a string. Oh yeah, and this is card 15. So in order to do this, we're going to be using a text box. And once you put the text box on the form itself, click on this little arrow up here and select multi-line. Then resize the text box to fit the form. Now double click the form itself and we're going to dim some variables. Alright. Dim i as integer. Dim my string as string equals to my kitty is cute. <laughs> now we're going to do for i equals whoops first day of the week no for i equals zero that's an o by the no wait that's zero is it no yeah that is a zero i can't see that well my big screen tv <laughs> to my string which i misspelled already my string minus one and there we go now we're gonna put text box one dot text plus equals character basically the character that's going to be showing after it which should be m y k i t t y and so on Let's put a space, remember the space, and then the end the quotation right there, and then put an and sign, and then put my string dot car i as the integer and end it. Now, let's teach you what this is doing. For i equals zero. We dim the variable called i and it is an integer. We set the variable or the integer to the value of 0 until it reaches the end of my string, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, and so on, until it reaches on uh, the length of this, which is going to be up here. It's going to add text to the text box, which is going to say character, and then my string, which is going to be the character, which is going to be that value right there. If we test it, ooh, ooh, there's a problem here. Conversion from string to type double. Let's stop the tutorial right there, and let's see where my problem is. Dim i as integer for i. Oh, I see what my problem is. Right here, my string. Sorry for this pro. Why is it that whenever I do tutorials for you guys, I keep messing up? Let's put a. <laughs> At least we're all learning together. Let's put a dot here and let's put length. There we go. Minus one. All right. Now let's try the program again. There we go. As you can see, character M, character Y, character. But I don't like it like this. It kind of. It's confusing. So let's close the program out really quick and let's go back to this. And right after the I, or right after the the ending parentheses, put an and sign and then put VB. C R L F. Basically, what that is, it's going to simulate a enter key, which means it's going to be saying character I enter, and it'll have new lines for each characters, like so. My kitty is cute. Sorry about that problem, but we both learned that you can't use my string without the length. See you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good time.